eternally thankful for all that the Lord has done on the tail end, the last few minutes of this Labor Day. Yes, Jesus paid it all. He gave all to each one of us. And in Leviticus 7, we're reminded that Jesus is our burnt offering. He's our meat offering, our peace offering, our sin offering, our trespass offering. For his people. Jesus Christ has fulfilled every sacrifice for all of us. His one oblation of himself once offered, he has stood in all these different relations. We have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. So we know in Leviticus 7, it talks about heave offerings where the heave was waved up and down, and then there was a wave offering that was offered from right to left. Listen, and some people say that that direction of the up and down and the right and left represents the cross, but we know that Jesus completed the work on the cross for us. In Hebrews 10.10, 10, we're reminded that by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. So that's why we can rejoice today. We can be happy today and this holiday and every day. He is the one who went through everything so that we can experience freedom, joy, and every good and perfect gift from our Father above. So let's rejoice and be mindful and grateful forevermore. And because of today's date, the fourth, we would have gone to Psalms 4 and Psalms 34 and or Psalms 64 or 94 or 124. Well, in Psalms 4, verse 5, it says, offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. We just talked talked about how the Lord gave sacrifices to us so that we could experience abundance 
Well, we're to offer our sacrifices to the Lord so that we can we can continue to walk in his righteousness and put our trust in the Lord. We don't know what's going to happen this week. We don't know what's going to happen this, this next hour, but we know that if we're about to go to sleep in Psalms 4, 8, we're reminded by the psalmist David, I will lay me down in peace and sleep for thou, Lord, only maketh me dwell in safety. So he will protect our very own, what is dear to our hearts. He'll protect our family. He'll protect our dwelling place and everything that is associated with us because we put our trust in him. We sacrifice to him and we take on his righteousness. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that we do not have to do life alone, that you have paved a way for us to continually to rest, trust, to put our confidence in you. So Father, as we are preparing for good rest, Lord, we ask that you bless us so that we'll continue to be mindful of all that you have done and we will continue to walk out gratitude and thankfulness in our life. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. And Lord, let us receive your peace, rest, bliss, and serenity until we wake up again and to do your will and represent you in Jesus name. Amen.